<sighs> Been a while, baby. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is December 2nd, so Thanksgiving has come and went. I hope you guys had a great, great day, hopefully spending time with your family, with your loved ones, um, hopefully getting some awesome deals on some Black Friday and some Cyber Monday deals. I know I did, which is kind of the whole purpose of this video. In today's video, we are gonna be doing both an unboxing and an installation of the Leatherette seat covers from Cover King. These guys are the ones that are custom fit for the 2004 to 2008 Ford F-150. Um, these aren't like your general purpose, one size fits all, fit any maker model kind of seat covers. These guys are custom designed for the, um, for the specific model of your vehicle. Mine is gonna be a 2006 Ford F-150. It's the extended cab. Um, and so it also has the, um, it's the 40, 20, 40 um, seat style with the, uh, what do you call it? The seat belt built into the, um, built into the seat and whatnot. But you guys will see all that once I'm installing it. I'm excited. Um, I was gonna get this video out a few days earlier, but um, there was a, uh, you know, there was an issue with the shipping and FedEx said that they delivered the package to me and I never got it. So there was a long back and forth going on between me and FedEx. Ultimately, it got sent to the wrong person, but that person was a good Samaritan and actually gave the package back to FedEx and then FedEx contacted me, said, hey, we found your package, we're bringing it back to you. So if you're the good Samaritan out there, thank you so much. I appreciate the heck out of you. And uh, yeah, I'm done rambling. Let's get into the unboxing. several different pieces. Okay, so everything is out of the box and this is what we're working with. So you have individual portions for um, the part where your butt goes. Obviously this is for the backrest and then there's another piece for the headrest. This is, um, like I mentioned earlier, I have the 40, 20, 40 style seating. So this will slide over the center console. I have my two cup holders right here and then this will go over where the, the butt is. Butt portion, backrest, and headrest. So I only got the front seat portion of this because I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. And obviously I didn't want to spend all that money on the front and the back if I was just gonna install the front, not like it, and decide to send it back. So overall, this was not a very um, expensive thing. So I think normally these guys run for around like 230 or so a row but because of what they were doing with the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all that good stuff, I got I picked these guys up for, I think it was $173. So it was a pretty good discount. I thought that that was a good enough price that if it was, you know, as good as advertised, if all the reviews um, that I read, you know, were true, that $173 would be a good, fair price. To do it after putting them on, I might also conclude that it's worth it to go ahead and pay full price since more than likely by the time you guys are watching this video, that sale will be over. <clears throat> um, I got them from autoanything.com, but I found that you can also get them on like carid.com. Obviously you can get them from Cover King um, themselves. Uh, I think also you can buy them on Amazon as well. If they are available on Amazon, obviously there will be a link below. And keep in mind, this is just like, this is leatherette. Obviously this is not real leather. This is like a, um, like a microfiber, uh, not microfiber, but like vinyl kind of counterfeit. It is very, very soft to the touch. Um, it, do, it is very, very plush, very, very nice and soft and comfy, like leather. So I'm hoping that this will really spruce up the inside of my truck. This is the first interior mod I've ever done to the truck, so I really wanted to try and make the first one a good one. So hopefully, um, Hopefully I made the right decision and got this one because there are a ton, guys. It is shocking how many different options there are when it comes to seat covers. You've got cat skin, which is like a total revamp um, of your entire interior. Um, you have to get it done at like a certified cat skin dealer. Um, you know, you can do like Clasio. Like there's so many different kinds and all different varying pricing options. So hopefully this can bring a little bit of conclusion as to the best way to spend your money. 
I did go with the all black option, but they do have options where you can get like black right here and then like silver down the middle or like blue or I think even red as well. Um, so they do have a bunch of different color options as well. I think that all black is going to be um, probably the best bang for my buck right now as far as looking uh, looking like it's stock and everything. So um, unboxing portion. I'd, you know, right out of the box, I'd probably give it like an 8 out of 10 just on looks wise. I'm excited to see how it fits on the truck because the main thing for me is I want it to be tight and grippy and I don't want it to slide around. If it slides around, if it's not, if it doesn't look, you know, stock, they're going to get sent back um, and I'll just put up with the cloth seats that I have. But right now, you know, they look fine. Like I said, about 8 out of 10. Um, so yeah, let's see how they look when they're installed on the truck. I know I've never really given you guys like a tour of the inside of my truck. It's just a uh, it's just a stock XLT. You know, it's got these these cloth seats on this guy right here. I've got this like this one size fits all like leather insert thing from Walmart. But obviously this is coming out because we're going to be um, replacing it with what we've got right here. I um, actually think I need to take this headrest off to get rid of this one. But we're going to take these guys off. Um, you guys can see. I've just got like the basic cloth stuff underneath and then um, yeah we'll install the leather ones. First things first you're going to want to remove your headrest that's pretty easy once you get the headrest all the way up there's a tab right here and then a much more difficult to see tab over here. Don't focus. Yeah right there and you push in there and then once you push in both of those at the same time it comes all the way up. It's pretty straightforward. This guy slides right over the top of it, and then it's got these Velcro um, straps that go around the prongs, and then it can just go right back in. This is the leather portion that's going to go over the backrest. As you can see, it's got this hole up top. That's going to be for if you have the um, seat belts built into it. There is a zipper that goes all the way down, so you'll just unzip it slide it over the top of this. You are still going to have um, map pockets back here, so don't worry about losing you know, the functionality of having map pockets on your seat. And then you'll just have this thing right here on the bottom that tucks down in there. Okay, so this one is on right now. Headrest is on. I just want to give you guys like a side-by-side -side of... So this is what the stock one looks like right now. It's cloth. It's a little faded. You can see that. These guys look very nicely. Um, and when I was getting these things, I read a lot of reviews that said like this zipper was very, very difficult to attach. Um, I had zero issues at all. This thing slid right over. You know, it's it's snug, like it's not obviously like parachuting out at all. But you know, this zipper went down very, very easily. You can see this is where it goes down here and this guy little flap hangs over. I just tucked it in there. Still have to put the bottom cushion on right now, but I think this thing looks great. This is the bottom portion that's going to go um, obviously where you put your butt down. So basically you got some clips right here. There are, uh, you got two of them that are going to pass from the front of the seat and then they're going to go all the way back. This guy is going to be like tucked in so from underneath the seat you'll be clipping these guys back in. I'm kind of skimping over and giving you guys like a very fast paced um, general review uh, for in, for the installation process. Cover King has a very, very in-depth step-by-step. If you guys are going to go check out that video for how to install these, this is more so of just like a general video of unboxing, installing, but it's more so about how they look and, you know, what I recommend them. So um, if you guys want a more step-by-step -step, in detail video, um, I'll probably put that video in the description below. All right, guys, there it is. The first one is completely installed. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I think it looks awesome. I actually really do like how conforming it is to um, what the OEM was like. So this is what the stock seat, you know, that's cloth over here looks like. This is what the new all black leather one looks like. I think it looks great. Very, very easy to install. I really appreciate how straightforward it is. I will say the hardest part was tucking in the, um, you know, the additional uh, fabric in behind this little plastic part right here but I guess I would rather it be way too snug than not snug enough because the most annoying part with the seat covers is when you don't um, when it's sliding around all the time so we're gonna do the other side now all right so the other side is completely finished now 
Um, I still have the middle, uh, you know, smaller section to do, but both sides look great. Both sides are really straightforward. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the middle. So I'm watching the, the video right now. I'm trying to edit and get it all together. And I realized that either it got corrupted and it's gone, or I just never remember to record an outro clip. But the seats look awesome. I'm going to do some side-by-side -side shots for you guys right now to show the before and the after and how awesome it looks, guys. I would 100% recommend this. I'm just going to get right to it. I would 100% recommend these seats, especially if you're able to get some sort of like discounted price for them. They look amazing, as you guys are going to see in the next few clips. Um, especially, like, they look awesome as it is. Um, I, do they look factory? No, not really, but do they look awesome? Do they look awesome for the amount of money that you pay for them? Absolutely. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that this, hopefully this video was, you know, helpful to you guys. Um, enjoy the side-by-side -side shots below. Sorry it took so long between this video and my, and, you know, my last video. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the side-by-side -side shots and we'll catch you guys on the next video.